Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we continue our series in um, in system design crash course. Today we will talk about database. In the previous video, we talked about how the single server setup works, and we introduced this design. And we said that uh, we have a user mobile. We have like a client or user who try to connect with the web server using a DNS. It from like basically. It will send the uh, domain name system and send the, the the domain name to the DNS and the DNS will return back the 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 IP address of the web server and after that the when and when when the client receive the IP address of the web server it it will send an HTTP connection HTTP request to get like for example an HTML page or maybe to get a user if the um, uh, the user want if, if the if the client want or like get anything the client needs of course if the web server allow it and right now our application is quite getting quite big quite getting uh, bigger and uh, we have um with the growth of the user base on on we have a lot of users right now on the web server and one server is not enough for all storing handling the uh, the traffic and also storing the data so so um we need to uh, use multiply servers one for web mobile traffic and the other one for the database and in, in able to do that we will create another server here let's let's let's, let's create a, a circle a lot of circles oh it's a big one let's make it a uh, well, let's call it like D and uh, database database DB and let's make it small and let's put it here I guess we can make it even smaller yeah and I can make it I can copy it maybe I do like a DNS so to remove this DNS oh no so let's just make sure that this is connecting can I change the okay never mind delete the leave the DNS like that and basically the web server will will try to connect with the database with maybe if um, maybe the, the the web server wanna read some data so read and write here let's just add for this one it will be like read maybe uh write or 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 update and the server it will it, it expect to get uh, sp data from the uh, the let's the database. Let's 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 um, can we change the yeah yeah oh, it's much better. So here um, as you can see right now we have two servers two servers. One is to handle the traffic for the mobile web browser and the other one is to store the the, the user um, the user base or the user database. Um, it's quite important to ask ourselves the question that which type of database we would use. So you can choose between traditional relational database and uh, non-relational database. So let's just try to think about this one. So the relational database are also called a relational database management system or RDMS or SQL database. Uh, they are the most popular ones. Uh, the most popular ones are MySQL, for example, um, and maybe like Postgres, etc. And the original database represent and store data in tables and rows, and you can perform join operations using SQL across different database tables. Uh, the non-relational database are also called as NoSQL database. Uh, popular ones are uh, 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 CouchDB, Cassandra, DynamoDB, etc. These databases are grouped into uh, four categories. We have key value stores, we have graph, we have um, we have graph stores, we have column stores, and we have document stores. 
uh, join operations are generally not supported in the non-relational database this is the thing, important thing to say for most developers relational database uh, will um, uh, are the best options because they have been around for over 40 years and historically they have worked well however if relational database are not suitable for your specific use case it is critical to explore beyond relational database non-relational database might be um, the right choice if one of four is matched first your application requires super low latency second your data are unstructured or you do not have any relational data third you only need to uh, serialize and deserialize data like JSON, XML, YAML. Fourth, you need to store massive amount of data. So basically this all the four things. And I guess from because we have the user, I guess we would go with relational database. And um, let's just put here the database, the title, I forgot to put the title. <laughs> so basically this was the main thing between the database and this was the main thing between sql v v versus no sql so that's it for this video if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never miss a video and see you in future problems